Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today, please minus the weird shadow on the side of my face. I'm new at this and you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm just on my iPhone and I am just holding the camera. So I wanted to come back here and talk again about what's going on with Nick Avocado um, or Nick Ocado Avocado, however you say it. Um, this latest string of videos put out by him are a complete shit show. Um, and if he's doing this to be contrary and spiteful, but funny at the same time, because it's all a joke to him, it's really not. This is really not a joke. First of all, the latest video when he's upset with David Dobrik or wants to be like David Dobrik, honey, you are not. David Dobrik. You're clearly not David Dobrik. So you can live in the splendor of knowing that you gave away a pack of fucking noodles, but yay, life is a little bit bigger than that. And there are bigger issues here. David Dobrik is David Dobrik and he's doing his thing because he got to where he was from not manipulating people. Um, not clearly not the way that you have. And, um, also, the whole thing about bringing up cancer and suicide, mm, this is a big problem. You are, you've like crossed all boundaries. Um, I myself am a survivor of suicide and I really think it's disgusting, disgusting to even hear you play around with the idea of popping pills. Fucking melatonin, buddy. Yeah. melatonin does not make you that way. As Cancer Warrior said as well, I had morphine as well when I was in the hospital and I wasn't acting like that. I would never act like that, ever. I've done acid and eaten shrooms and never been like that. Come on, it's a joke. Stop playing around with your audience. You're manipulating your audience and then you turn around and blame them for your bullshit, for your own antics. You're going to blame them for all because you cannot be held accountable to yourself, to yourself among anybody else and Orlin. God, I mean, thank God if he really did leave you, which I don't even know if I believe that either, but I hope he did leave you. I hope he did. I hope he was smart and left you. And like, yeah, you're right. People only see a tiny fraction of who you are as a person because you put yourself out there for that time period. But what you're sending to the world is really shitty, really shitty. And, and another thing, where are all your friends? Where are all your famous YouTube friends? They came out to support you to go against Zach Choi and Stephanie Sue. But where are they now when you're having your nervous breakdown? You see, there is a story, and you know what? Another thing, stop saying you're Russian or you're Eastern European. Whatever you are, you're Eastern European or you you were born in the Ukraine. Your parents may be Russian, but if you ask Ukrainians, if, if your kid is born in the Ukraine, they're fucking Ukrainian. So stop it. Edif do, and my Russian friends will know what that means. They know what that means, because I'm married to one. You stop it. Ni pravda. Ni pravda. Everything you say is not true. And you, em you, you embellish them in such a way. I don't know if you fake pretend being stupid, like what you did with Kobe Bryant. How dare you? How dare you say that? That man left behind a family, a six-month-old baby, a tiny little baby, and the other people on that plane and their families. What about the husband and the father with his children who are without a mother? How dare you? And then you're laughing about it? What, because you're nervous? I don't think you were nervous, buddy. If I were anybody in that family, I would fucking sue you. You are a joke. How dare you? How dare you? I keep my peace. I'm trying to be credible here. But really, and this whole thing about you acting so crazy, crazy people, let me tell you something, crazy people do not act like consciously. They don't act consciously. You're acting consciously. And look, girls, let me get my tea because I am in the South. So I'm going to suck down my tea. You want to deliver tea? I'm delivering tea. Buddy, you're a joke. Stop pretending that you know what crazy is. 
First of all, no one really knows. Okay, I'll give you that. No one knows what crazy is, but you consciously being aware of acting crazy, you're saying crazy things one minute and then acting completely normal the next. I don't know what kind of videos you've watched. I mean, are you practicing for some acting role? Because it's really not doing good. And when people say you're such a great actor, I don't think you're a great actor. No, you could possibly be a great actor. You're a deceiver. There's a difference. There is a difference. And I'm so sick of like, I say I'm not going to tune in. And people tell me, if you have a problem, don't watch this. Meh, 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 meh. Don't watch this. Well, you know what? I have every fucking right to watch it. Just like you have every right to watch my video. And anybody else who has a problem with it, bring it on. Bring it on. Because you know what? At the end of the day, we all have our opinions. And that's fine. And if I want to watch you being unsubscribed from you, I will. I have every right to because you put it out there. I'm not denying anybody coming to my pay, my 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 uh, uh, space and saying, oh, no, no, I disagree. You can disagree all day long. We can have a discussion all day long. But in the end, you came to my, you came to me. You came to my video to watch it. I think that you should really, really stand back. And again, I'll say this. Look in the mirror at 